day, everyone. Work with others. Develop effective workplace relationship. The five foundational steps to clarifying team members' rules include. First, analyzing or reanalyzing the mission that needs to be accomplished. Review your team's mission statement and goals. Discuss the key steps and tasks necessary to accomplish the team's goals. Define your team's strengths and weaknesses in regards to the goals and working together. Identify individual strengths and expertise. Second, defining shared team rules and responsibilities. Define tasks for which every team member will be responsible. Identify operating guidelines that all team members must know. Third, defining individual rules and responsibilities. That are main responsibilities based on the key steps and tasks identified for completion of the project. Analyze members' expertise in both task and team-related activities. Fourth, learn other team members' rules and responsibilities. Define based on the needs of the team. How much each member needs to know about others' rules on the team. Decide on the most effective way to disperse information about rules and responsibilities. Fifth, create a plan for review of rules and team progress. Schedule regular team checkups. Create a progress sheet that will help gauge the team thermometer. How to build a positive relationships among your team members. First, communicate. Build on their strengths. Give them a verbal boost whenever they tackle an assignment that goes outside their comfort zone. Demonstrate to your team that you are accountable to them and to your superiors by being reliable and responsible. Serve as a role model of your team by doing your best work at all times. Recognize the work your team accomplishes. Look for the positive things to say on a daily basis. Build team relationships by encouraging team members to recognize each other's strengths. Listen to what the team members have to say about each other and to you in a non-judgmental manner. Give your team glimpse of your personal life. This makes you seem more approachable as a leader. Encourage them to do the same. Build team member relationships outside the office. Celebrate life's moment with your team. Contribute to work group activities. Communication process. The sharing of meaningful information between two or more people with the goal of their receiver understanding the sender's intended message. In business, the effectiveness of a company's internal and external communication process is often very important to its overall success. Five steps to the communication process in the workplace. First, creation. 
The first step is communicating a message, is creating the message. Second, transmission. After a message is created, it must be transmitted. This transmission may be as simple as meeting with the intended recipient of the message and orally sharing the message. Or calling the individual to communicate orally over the phone. If the message is a print one, it could include distributing a paper memo or sending an email. Third, Reception. After transmitting the message, the communication duties change hands and fall upon the receiver of the message. Fourth, translation. Once receiving the message, the recipient must translate the message into terms that she can easily understand. Fifth, response. Communication is a two-way street and response is often necessary. This response may be verbal and immediate, which would commonly be the case if the communication is face-to-face. -face. Planning and decision-making. Why planning is necessary? First, Provide direction. What the organization wants to accomplish and how to reach the established site goals by planning a clear direction comes that to be followed in order to reach and achieve goals. Second, reduce uncertainty. Third, minimize waste and redundancy. When work activities are coordinated around established plans, redundancy can be minimized. Provide ability in controlling. Planning helps in controlling and monitoring the work that either this work is on its right path or not. What is decision? Decision means choosing among alternatives. Who make the decisions? Managers are responsible to make the decisions. Thank you for watching.